RSS submissions are even easier. The reason why they're easier is because you don't need to create a URL list. You don't need to create accounts for them. All you need to do is go to new and then RSS feeds. I'm going to rename this RSS, let's say health niche. Actually, let's continue our example with the online dating. It's online dating. I'm going to open it. Over here, we're going to get to select the URL list. And from some of our previous submissions, you go with web 2.0 online dating. You could go with social bookmarking URLs, PDF sharing sites. This is the reason why when I rename these files, I like to insert the type of URLs inside the title. Even though you can see what type of submission this is, I like to insert it inside the titles so that when I do RSS submissions, I could see over here what this is all about. If I want to go with social bookmarking, then I would select social bookmarking and I don't need to go back and make sure if it is the right one for social bookmarking. I just insert the type of submission in the title so I can easily select the project URL when doing RSS submissions. We have five directories here. I'm going to leave this checked. Now I'm just going to go ahead and enter the RSS feed title, which is just the title of your RSS feeds. My online dating blog RSS. We have the RSS feed link. So that would be your link here, online dating blog.com. Then we have the link title, which can be online dating blog post. Then we can say post one, two, three, or four. This is spinnable, as you can see. Finally, we have the link description. So we could just say something like a collection of dating blog posts or websites from around the web or the internet. Okay, so that's it. Now we can go ahead and preview and if everything is okay, make sure your link is okay. If it is, then all we need to do is click start. Rank Builder NEO will automatically start doing RSS feeds for the URLs for social bookmarking. As you can see, in just a couple of seconds, this will be done. It's now five from six. It's now finished. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. That's it. In our next video, we're going to take a look at tiered linking and scheduling. I'll see you in the next video.